What I want to get into right now, because I know we're pressed for time, is this whole idea of glamping. I thought when I saw this at the very beginning, it's like, what the hell? You're people are wanting to stay in a yurt in the desert, <laughs> yeah, and or an airstream. I mean, yeah, how, where did that come from? All right, so we had built these tiny homes uh, in Joshua Tree. It was really starting to take off, and I, you know, you know, how I said you can look at Airbnb and sort of guesstimate how much your competition is making. Uh, and so I was like doing some research, and I saw these people in Joshua Tree were charging like one hundred and fifty dollars a night to stay at a teepee. And I was like, well, that's crazy. And so I like looked at the calendars and they were booked like three, four, five months in advance. And so I started running some calculations and I saw that they were making like six figures a year off of a single TP. And it, it made me angry. I was so mad. I was like, I can't believe that other people are making six figures off of a $3,000 TP and I'm not making six figures off of it. So I text my, my partners and I'm like, guys, what if we put a yurt out in the middle of the desert? And they were like, no, we're not going to do that. And I'm like, come on, come on. When have I ever been wrong about this kind of thing? And no, no, Rob, we're not going to do that. I'm like, guys, you just need to trust me on this. I'm telling you. And then they were finally like, you know what, dude? Buy the damn tent. Shut up. Just buy it and leave <laughs> us alone. And I was like, great, I already did. So I spent like three grand on this tent. And so we ended up putting it out <laughs> in the Grand Canyon uh, in Arizona, just as sort of a prototype proof of concept. Mm -hmm. $3,000 tent. And we put it out in December thinking, Hey, you know what? Like, uh, we'll make 500 bucks a month and it's going to be, you know, $6,000 a year, but Hey, double our investment. Well, we didn't expect that when we listed it in December, when it was five degrees outside that we would be booked a hundred percent. And so basically we were booked a hundred percent that first year, that original tent has grossed $172,000. Uh, now there are some startup expenses and everything yeah. like that, but it was just kind of crazy. The power of this like $3,000 tent. So then I was like, well, let's do another one. And so then we bought a yurt, like a, like a Mongolian hut and that Mongolian hut, we were charging like 300 bucks a night. And then we bought this Airstream. And it was like a vintage Airstream. They had just remodeled it and they just didn't want it anymore. So they took a loss on it. We bought it for 33,000 bucks. We put it out there and we were charging $189 a night flat. And uh, our first year we grossed $44,000 on it. So we made our money back right, you know, that first year. And then we built a, a little tiny A-frame that was like less than a hundred square feet. I think it was like 10 by, yeah, it was probably like 10 by 10, something like that. And uh, that little A-frame cost us $35,000 and we were booking it, I think for two fifteen dollars a night. And in the three years that we've owned it, we've grossed, I think, 157,000. So it just kind of goes to show you that people really like these little unique experiences that are, you know, they're, they're glamping, they're glamorous camping, but it's still out in the elements. You're still freezing. You're just not having to poop in the ground, right? We have a compost toilet. We have a memory foam mattress, but people like it, right? It's kind of got this mystique about it and it helps them create the memories and they all they really want is that Instagram photo, you know?